Hello kids, welcome to Life Kids Online. I'm JJ Yoksha. My name is Sam. Now it's time for a word of prayer. Let us all close our eyes and bow our heads. Heavenly Father, Lord, we raise and lift our hands to you, Lord Jesus. Speak to us, O Lord Jesus. Help me to know you more and more each day and help me to love you more and more. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, let us all welcome our praise and worship team to lead us in a time of praise and worship. That was an awesome praise and worship session we had. Now it's time for our lesson. For this week's lesson, we will be learning about Obedidom. You can find him in the Bible in 2 Samuel chapter 6, verse 1 to 11, 1 Chronicles chapter 13, verse 5 to 14, and 1 Chronicles chapter 26, verse 4 to 6. Our key verse for this week's lesson is from Psalm 1 verse 7, which says, but I, by your great love, can come into your house. In reverence, I bow down towards your holy temple. So, who is Obed-Edom? Obed-Edom is another small Bible character that we oftentimes miss. He first appeared in 2 Samuel chapter 6, verse 10, when David sought to bring the Ark of Covenant back to Jerusalem. What is this Ark of Covenant? Hmm. This Ark of Covenant was a gold-covered wooden chest with a lid cover. Inside, there were two stone tablets of the Ten Commandments, Aaron's rod, and a gold pot of manna. This Ark of Covenant carries God's presence, means it is actually holy in the Lord. At that time, Uzzah, one of David's men, was on the way transporting this Ark of Covenant. And suddenly, 
Uzzah was trying to prevent the ark from stumbling. But what happened was God actually struck Uzzah dead. So that got David really angry and feared God as well. What did David then do? David then decided to place the Ark of Covenant in the home of a man named Obed-Edom. This Ark of Covenant then remained in the house of Obed-Edom for three months and God then blessed him, his entire family, and his descendants too. Another thing is that Obed-Edom was originally a Gittite. But in 1 Chronicles, we found that Obed-Edom with his family served as gatekeepers in the house of God that were meant only for the Levites. So this tells us that because Obed-Edom has experienced God's presence and God's blessing greatly when the Ark of Covenant was actually in his house, God's presence eventually transformed Obed-Edom too. So this is one thing that we can learn is that when we invite God's presence into our homes, your life will also be transformed. We just got to give God the time and space for Him to fill us and fill our homes with His presence. There are three key points to take away from this week's lesson. The first one is that Obedidom was not merely staying in God's blessing. Obedidom became a gatekeeper and a musician, joining the ranks of the Levites who were responsible for taking care of the ark and worshipping God. Obedidom cared more about God than the blessing itself. He was an individual that would not forget about God. And we can see that his pursuit was not in the blessing, but in the person of God himself and the relationships and the intimacy he can form with him. The second key point is that Obedidom was in ownership of the Ark of Covenant. Obedidom followed the Ark of Covenant into the temple and he devoted his life to carefully maintain and protect the sacred dwelling place of God essentially guarding the presence of God itself. The last key point is that Obedidom was no longer referred to as a Gittite. In 1 Chronicles chapter 5, verse 25 onwards, Obedidom was referred to as the gatekeeper and musician of the Ark of the Covenant. Obedidom's faithfulness and devotion to God left a great legacy. In 1 Chronicles chapter 5, verse 23 to 24 onwards, we see that the Bible mentions another Obedidom who lived 200 years later. This means that the Levites had named their children Obedidom. Now it's time for FAM Family Activity Moments. This week, do check out the craft section of the lesson. We will be so happy if you could do the craft and take a picture of it to show us. Next, we also have a discussion question that you can spend some time with your mommy and daddy and discuss these questions from today's lesson. That's the end of our lesson for this week. I hope you enjoy it. Let's close in in a word of prayer. Dear God, we praise you for the blessings that you have blessed me and my family with. I invite your presence with me in my home and in my life, God. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen. That's all for today, guys. I'll see you at 11.30 a.m. See you guys at 11.30.